Hello everybody, welcome to Ken's Tech Lab. We are doing the fifth of the series on building the Prusa Mini Clone. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining Ken Tech Lab. As we continue with our assembly here, and we are now over on section 51. And what we need to do for this is uh, we're going to be doing the Z-stop and also the um, Z-axis motor. Put them out. Two M312 screws. I wish everything was easy to find as those. Okay. Ah. The reason why I couldn't find it is because that nut is right here. It's already attached. Right there. Okay, first part on the back of the plastic part, we need to insert two of these nuts. There's one. I don't know how much that's in the shot or how much that this printer parts that we don't need right this minute are in the way. There we go, that should be a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna take the second one. Okay, I'm gonna take the screwdriver and make sure that they're all the way in. straight through to the hole on that side so they should be fine let me try a little bit more to see if they can go down further ah that's what I thought the hole is actually over here the nut goes in here and when I first slid it in, it was about right there. And it needed to go all the way back down through there so you can use it through these holes right here. And right here. Okay. There we go. All the way in and usable now. All right, we're now at step 53. That's assembling the mini Z top. And the one part they were talking about, which was the um, trapezoid nut is actually connected right here on the very top. So we'll take that out. Lay that here because we'll need to use that. Okay. We have the uh, two square nuts in here. And 
we're ready to put this over and on. Okay. The way the picture looks is the power and sensor cables come out on the side right here. And this is going to go in just like that. So two M3 by 12s, which we have in our hand here. We're gonna get there and we're going to put them in. like that there we go okay that one started we'll get them started here let's put this one down force there to pull it down all right so let's tighten these two up together and we'll put the angle that it's showing here in the picture matter of fact they um, I think it says right in here is double check the orientation of the parts because they want the orientation with this line coming out just like that I believe that line is going to go up in here and out through this little um, crevice that they have in the part. All right, now they want us to take this with the, um, the overhang up and the bezel down and they want us to put it on the rod and bring it all the way down. Which we will do. Okay. Step 54 is going to be the Z-axis smooth rods parts preparation. So this is going to be the, we have four rods left. Uh, right here. Two longer ones and two shorter ones. They want the two long ones. So we're going to prepare them. We'll put the two shorter ones away. They would like to have four M320s. It's four M320s. and two M516s. We 
Look at the big bolts. At least me one left of that. I don't know if that's a spare or we'll be using that one somewhere else. We'll put that back in the pile. Uh, we're going to be using two of the smooth um, linear bearings. That's two. This one and this one. Okay. That should be all the parts that we're going to be using. Okay, let's let's do some mounting here. So we're going to get this all situated, or we have some room to work on everything. All our screws are over there. Where's my little square nuts? I want to put this. I have a, one that flew off, I think, a couple episodes ago, and I found it under a lot of things. These are hex nuts. I, this is a square nut. Locking nuts. There they are. M3 square nut. Okay, we'll put that back in there. Like that so we don't lose it. Just in case they don't give us any extras. <laughs> okay. Let's bring over the uh, main system. And I believe that we will be working with this part right here. Push the Z-axis smooth rods all the way into the mini Z bottom. Okay, I can do that. So, one here. And one here. There we go. So they want me to check and make sure that these two rods are all the way down and touching the bottom. They are. screw pad here and we should be using it right it's magnetic a little bit okay put this right here make sure they were all the way down So they want us to secure the rods with the M320s times four. So that is these right here, M320s. And they go in to the holes right here on the side so you can see it. There are four holes, one here, one here, one here. And what it's going to do is go in and secure these rods in this area. So let's do that now. I'm not going to tighten them all the way until I have them all in there. So 
sometimes you don't know how things work out uh, when you print all the parts yourself whether you were you know you had everything set correctly or or your printer did everything like it should so the two bottoms are not screwing in like they should and that's usually because we've lost well, or they're not down all the way so let's pull those screws back out not cooperating coming out. Well, there's one way to always to get things done, just tip it over and let them fall out. There we go. A little brute force. Never hurts anything. Make sure that these are still all the way down. Okay, we're gonna get out our smallest Allen key and make sure that these are pushed in all the way. There we go. I got it to catch this time. All right. Again, make sure that they're all the way down. And we'll stand this back up so it's not putting any pressure on the rods and making them uh, go in a, in a crooked way or get tightened up crooked. Okay, let's put a little bit more ump on the screws. What might work better is our handy dandy LTD, LTT screwdriver.
All right, all four of those screws are put in. Okay, they want me to turn it around where the rear is facing me. So that's the rear. And you guys get to see the front. They want me to carefully put the bearings on the Z-axis rods and slide them down. So let's open up those bearings. Make things easier, a little slit on the bag. All right, slide one. Yeah, that's one down. Let's open up the other. Okay, they are on. Now it's part 56. 57. Uh, mounting the Z down. They didn't want this all the way down, so let's put this halfway. Okay. And Okay, they want it all the way down in there. And there she is. I, one thing I don't get is that this against the this rod or against this um, post right here is tight. So okay, so the screw is going to hold that in the position that it needs to be held in. that we have the top on now, nice and settled in. Make sure it's down all the way. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, that looks correct. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now it wants us to route the wire. So they want us, let me turn this around for you, but I'll have to turn it back around so I can see the route. But really what they want is to come through here all the way around and then down. So we're gonna do that now. I'll put a picture of it down in the uh, lower part of the screen so you can follow along. And then once it gets inside the, ch the channel there, um, what's is nice is it follows right down with the, the channel of the metal extrusion here. Sorry, I'm putting in, trying to get this wire to stay in. It's not cooperating as well as I would like it to. But anybody that does anything with wiring and stuff like that knows how well these wires pay attention when you want to put them into a certain way, into the hole. So they want it to route down and go right into the board since there is a cutout for it. And there it is, it's inside the board. All the way up, around and in. I hope they put a, give me a cover to be able to put over this wire because it looks like it does not want to stay in the channel. Okay, I'll leave it like that. So the wire now is coming from, see, coming from the top, the motor here, the wire doesn't want to stay right here, but it will later comes down the channel and then goes into the board right here. So, that's it. Let's see what's next. It says plastic cover parts preparation. Uh, plastic cover. I have lots of plastic covers. Which one are they talking about? Right, I found it. Nothing on the bag written, but plastic cover and I have two of them I believe these covers are going to cover over the one three uh, m3 by 20 screw which I think this is the main screw that's used I do have a lot of m3 by 12s too okay we'll put that on the side Do that again because they want two of them.
I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today on Ken's Tech Lab. Today we finished the YZ carriage assembly, so that is completely done. And at the end of the video, I kind of ran out of, you know, the, the, the microphone died on me and I didn't realize it until we were actually finished with the episode. So I put some uh, cards on the bottom of the, uh, of the screen that shows you what we were doing. So just look at the cards and you should just, you know, tell what, where we were in the assembly. Again, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay awesome.